Hello all. Welcome to test automation demo we have prepared for uh, QL housing or, uh, management. Um, in this demo, uh, we are going to uh, show you what is the tool we have used and what is the framework we have uh, utilized for designing automation scripts for QL housing uh, management. And then I'll quickly execute a couple of scripts we have uh, prepared. And then I'll show you how to validate the results and then the questions that's the agenda. I'll quickly um, execute a couple of scripts. So this is the test uh, machine we have got for designing and execution of, uh, of the scripts. So before uh, executing the scripts, I'll quickly show you what is the test cases we have got. So these are all the uh, six test cases we have got for uh, designing automation scripts. So we have uh, completed designing automation scripts for all these scripts, and I'll show you how to execute them. Execute them. So as per the demo, the tool we have used for uh, preparing these automation scripts is uh, MicroFocus UFT, and the framework uh, we have used is uh, GAD framework. That's a, a built-in or internal framework we have used. So let me show you the framework first. Yeah, so auto suit. This is the framework we have used. So if we go in, uh, these are all the three main folders we'll see uh, inside our framework. And this is the client folder uh, which we uh, create. And inside this folder, all the scripts and then the data which we are going to use for the scripts. And once the script got executed, where well, all the HTML reports will get saved here. And uh, scripts will be placed here in this folder. Uh, you can see all the six uh, scripts. Now I'll quickly open this, uh, any one of the script and then I'll execute them. Yeah, so this is the uh, MicroFocus UFT tool. I'm launching the tool, automation tool now. Yep, so I'm going to uh, open any test out of our six design uh, scripts. So maybe I'll, I'll execute the first one. Uh, so this test will uh, verify whether a user can able to book a repair or not. Yeah, so this is the design scripts, how it looks. And all, the, uh, all this script belongs to our framework. It means whatever the libraries we have prepared or whatever the uh, configuration which is required to execute a test, everything will be taken care of by this script. And from here, at <clears throat> actual script will get started. So these are all the steps to uh, book a repair. So first uh, application will be launched and then we'll be connecting to the test instance and then um, um, HGM contact management screen will be opened and then we'll search for a particular client and then we'll click on new order and then once the new order got opened and then we'll verify the status and then we'll, we'll, we'll give the nature of the repair and then we'll give required uh, <clears throat> details for that repair. And then finally, we'll verify whether this message is getting displayed or not. This is what we have done uh, in this automation test. Okay, so now I'm clicking on run so that all the steps which we have designed here will get executed. So the execution got <clears throat> started. So here, test instance will be selected. The application is getting launched. Yep. And here, uh, HGM contact management screen will be uh, launched. And now it will search for the customer and open customer related screen. Yeah, this is a uh, QL contact management screen. And here, once the screen got completely loaded, then the next step will be clicking on new order.
in this screen uh, as an initial step we'll verify what is the status of the order and then we'll fill the required details Yeah, so the final message is getting validated here. Done. So with this uh, script execution got completed, that means all the script which we have designed for this particular test got executed. And as I told, as per our uh, GAT framework, we, we have, uh, means there is a, uh, a default report which get generated with the UFT and we are not using this default report because the, this report will not show you clear steps what it is exactly doing but the html report which will get generated because of our framework will be stored here yeah so if you can see here it got executed just now and if i launch this uh, if i open this html report so this is how the uh, report will get generated so this report is getting generated uh, because of the utility functions or the methods which we have written in our framework so all the steps which I have performed will be uh, logged here. So if there is any step which it is which it is showing just information, it will be in the black color. And if I want to verify anything, or if I want to validate anything, so it will be validated. If it is matched with the expected result, then it displays in the green color. And uh, for for our reference, uh, there is a screenshot which will be uh, uh, attached to this report. So. Now, yeah, so here in this second step, it is selecting test instance. So we are validating whether it is properly selecting the uh, test instance or not. So this is the second step. And if we see the screenshot, see here, <clears throat> it is selecting the test instance. Like this, uh, there, was, there were three validation points I have inserted in this test. And then um, verifying the customer, this is the second step. And the, finally, once the order got created, I'm validating the uh, order message. So if I see this screenshot, then we'll have a clear picture. Yeah, so this is a success message. So this is one test case which I have executed now. And I'm going to execute one more test. And this test will be um, maybe ASB record, creating a ASB record. Yep, so this is common for all this uh, all the tests because this is our framework related configuration uh, script which requires us to uh, associate all the libraries which we have designed for this particular test and these are all the steps for this test case so i'm executing now second test There were some common steps which we which will be used, like uh, launching an application and searching for a customer. All these are our common steps which are uh, which is required for all these tests. So uh, if there is any common step, we don't need to design the same script again. So we have designed a common method where we can call that method into any test when this particular step is required. So here we can uh, use the reusability of the methods, which saves a lot of our time to design the same scripts again and again. Now, in this uh, test, it's gonna click new contact. Now here we'll, we'll change the allocated user. Yep, so the complaint number got created successfully.
once the complaint got created and then uh, we were validating whether what is the case id and what is the case um, uh, category who what is the user id and then uh, username all these things are validating here in the screen yeah with this this test case got completed and this is the default as i told this is the default report which uft uh, generates and um, as per our framework again there should be another report, html report which got generated yeah this is the html report yeah so this test has more steps so till here are the common steps and from here the uh, procedure got changed and this is how the test report will look like and here also we can see what is the uh, screenshot or what is the complaint id and all this stuff now after execution of this one i would like to execute a failed test case that means as per our uh, test cases so uh, when i'm when i'm creating this test case so as a last step a reference number has to be generated for this script but that reference number is not getting generated now i'm going to execute that test which it fails and the reason why i want to execute this test is i want to show you how a failed test case will look like uh, what is the test it is white face this one and i'm executing this first three steps are common steps so we just call the methods which we have uh, designed we haven't created uh, same script again and again so we just reuse the methods which we have designed Now here it's selected the start date, that is today's date. Yep. So this is a failed test case. Now after entering this, uh, a reference number has to be generated. Once after entering the start date and all this stuff, when, when I click on save and close, a reference number has to be generated, but it hasn't generated. So that's the reason the, 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 the test got failed. And if we go to the uh, report which got generated, yeah, so this is a failed test case and it, it, it took, um, 112 seconds to execute so in our, in our html report here in the top session uh, all the uh, machine related i mean on, on which machine this test is getting executed and what time it got initiated and how much time it has taken to execute and then what is the project and even we can give the client name all this stuff and when if it is a pass it displays in the green color with the screenshot and if expected if the expected result is not matching with the actual result uh, it displays the status as fail and then it displays in the red color along with the screenshot. So this is how the normal HTML, uh, sorry, the, the customized HTML report as per our framework, which get generated. Now, as we have designed all the six tests, 
And here I'm um, executing them individually. Uh, this tool, the UFT, uh, there is another feature called batch running. Batch running means we can load all the scripts at a time and then we can execute them in a single go. So before recording this video, I have executed them all at a time, like see here. So this is uh, some uh, built-in feature of uh, UFT tool uh, where we can load multiple scripts and then we can execute them in a single go. Or we can also even uh, schedule them, like you know, if I want to execute my test scripts, not in working hours, maybe in the night, while I'm leaving for the day, I just want to click on run and then go, and next day morning come back and then see what is the result. So uh, this way also we can use. So I have executed them, and these two tests are failed, as we have seen. This test is failed, and then there is creating a new uh, new tenancy. Even this test is getting failed. So this is how a batch execution uh, uh, can be done. Or if I want to execute individually, I can load that particular test into the UFT framework, sorry, UFT tool, and then we can execute them. So that's about execution and validation results. And um, if you have any questions, you, you, can, you can ask me. So that's what I have decided for this uh, video of the demo. Thank you all.